Hello, I am back again with another Celeste video. Uh, instead of doing a speedrun this time, I'm probably going to be doing some chapter one challenges. So, obviously you've got the uh, regular winged golden strawberry, which you can get from beating the whole chapter dashless. But, I figured that's, you know, already like a collectible, I already got it. And there's probably tons of videos out there of people getting it. So we're going to be doing a bunch of other things. First of all, um, thinking of grabless, probably quite a good one to start with. So, let's go I guess. Anyway, one thing first actually, uh, variants. Uh, no grabbing. And no super dashing. Okay, that's it. So one of the main things we can, oh, I forgot I can dash. Uh, one of the main things about probably the most helpful thing to avoid grabbing is neutral jumping. Maybe chapter one is not that bad for no grabbing, but I think about it. Oh. Effectively, come to a wall. Oh, I'm doing grab stage. Anyway, come to a wall, jump up without holding any... So if you hold like, to a water wall, jump, jump really far away from it. But if you jump without holding any directions, you jump. You don't jump that far away. So you can actually go back towards the wall and repeat that and boom, jump in. So now that I think about it, chapter one might not be that bad for grabbing. And also, blocks that usually require being grabbed. Don't actually don't require you to actually grab it, you just to press the grab button. So it's not so I, I might get all strawberries actually. That would be a bit more interesting. But all strawberries whilst still doing no grabs. That might be a bit more interesting because obviously. Beating a chapter alone probably shouldn't be that bad. I hope. Not really. I'm just. Yeah. I totally meant to do that. Just. Yeah. Manipulating the RNG. <laughs> totally. Ah! Do this section. That jump was really hard without grabbing. Yeah, to be fair, it probably won't be that bad. After some thinking of doing an all berries run, including golden berry. Not winged berry, it's not winged gold, unfortunately, because you actually can't do. There are a bunch of berries which you literally can't do as well as going for winged berry. Uh, First of all, golden berry is pretty much impossible with big berry. It's possible technically, but like beating the entire level deathless and dashless is a bit too hard for me. <laughs> but I can hardly sit dashless to begin with, but And also some berries literally require that 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 Yeah, you know, some berries actually require you to dash. To get them. So, it's not Obviously, you can't do that. Let me do something here. What's that? You don't need to do this like that. Why not? Oh, I don't know. But yeah, it might take like five times as long. But who really cares? Oh, <laughs> of course, you can't grab. It's like. It doesn't even feel like I'm playing a grab this one, I'm like doing a challenge run. I can't remember what, what challenge that is, but like, probably better if I actually remind myself what challenge I'm doing. But yeah, there we go. So grab this isn't actually that bad. 
I think it's a white, purple, blue, is it blue? Which way is blue? The blue, red, purple, oh, which way is yellow? Yellow, there we go. That heart was really hard to get without graphics. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this heart is fine. Anyway. I'm hoping there's like no that I haven't played in for like ages that like, like, requires grabbing or something like that. I really doubt there will be. Later levels you often need to grab, like summit for example, you have to use like grab and jump up like you know directly, but chapter one is nothing really that precise, so I guess starting off a pretty easy one I suppose. I miss this job pretty honest, but God. Yeah. No. Oh. There we go. No. No. Yeah. I didn't just say this, but I might have. And... Okay, and... <clears throat> this might be a bit of a challenge. Grabless and dashless, because you're bringing it down. Oh wait. No, wait a minute. Is it up? That's the wrong set. Oh wait, no, it's actually after this one. Oh, it's actually really hard. Grab I think I can do it though. I think it is possible. I feel like this doesn't look that bad. This definitely seems possible, but. There we go! Okay. a lot harder than I thought it would be. Hmm. First of all, I think we should just get to the berry. Look. So maybe we could do a... That might work actually. We could do a... Wave that. What was I thinking that was going to happen? Okay. Maybe actually, if we just look at that. First. Oh no, I think I know what's going to happen. I've got, got to do here. Yeah, if I like jump on the bottom of the spikes because like they're slightly sticking up at some places, like there, I can probably make it. That's gonna be rough though. It's really not, so that does line up pretty well, but still. Oh. Yeah, pretty much need to hold left to only to really set up for anything but still. You have to grab the berry, that should help. Maybe not though, maybe... Maybe actually. You could like... Up dash something to... You know... This is going to be really hard. Hmm. That feels good actually. Because then we can go on the other side of this moving block. Hmm. Maybe if I do a... Hmm. That could work, actually. That could definitely work. Hmm. About getting the jump now. Maybe, actually. It's pretty precise. I like, should the block about this bit. Yeah, actually, maybe. Maybe not though, it's moving away from you, you can't use it very much to your advantage. 
guess it feels possible though. I'm not really sure I can it just yet. Did I? I feel like I'm a bit better. I wasn't really paying attention to where I went there. I think I could have actually made it into the little gap up there. But I have absolutely no idea. Mm, three precise. Yeah. That's very forgiving in terms of. You don't need to be like the rest of the where you should be in order to perform whatever you want to do, like there. Maybe that might actually work if it works for me, you know. You can be really far away from the wall and still get a boost off of it. Like, I think you can pretty much be like half a block away, which is pretty big. And also you can be like, you know, you can't jump like a bit early or whatever. But the thing is, that means, the regular play, it makes it just nicer, but then for like challenges like this, it's like you have to use that to your advantage. It becomes honestly harder because it's like less accurate, I suppose. And actually, that might work actually. If I can do that. Actually, how does that work? Yeah, this might work. If I can just get on the bottom of that. I can definitely get on the bottom of that though. Well, what was that? Shit. What the earth is that? Is this, this doesn't even require grabbing to get over it, I'm still stuck. <laughs> because it's a bit easier to so grab the block to get higher up or whatever, but still. <laughs> Oh yeah, B-side. I always forget about getting B-sides. Why? <laughs> no. Mm. I guess I'm just 100% the level. I guess so much apart from gold. I don't even know all berries. Oh, actually, this might be challenging. I think it's impossible. I probably don't even need to use that block. It's helpful though, sure. Hmm. There we go. It's kind of awkward neutral because you can jump off it at the right time and neutral. It's kind of confusing, but. Oof. How this work? Oh my goodness. Should I just get to the other side? And I can probably drop down and get there. Is that here? I keep jumping off the wall. Oh wait, I'm here. That's fine. It would be fine if I was actually able to put it properly. I, I think I just need to like wait a bit before neutraling, because otherwise you don't neutral, you just or you can just not neutral, that works. No dashes or grabs. Easiest berry in the game. <laughs> right, I think that's it for there, so now on to the next area. I'm really glad no grabbing is actually like a built in mechanic that you can use because. No dashing isn't, and it's really annoying if trying to go for like Wing Golden Berry or something, because like. You think. <laughs> you didn't dash, but it turns out it's like one section where you just like instinctively dashed ages ago, and it's like. Hold on, I forgot I even did that. But with grabbing, you, if you accidentally try to that grab, you just fail, so it's. somehow. more forgiving. I want to go the pass for it. I must pass it. No. 
path. Wait, does it just go up this way? Oh, oh, this is actually... That's not actually that bad. This is the same strategy as you do for... It's just fine, yeah. I'm... <laughs> Get up the game. There we go. I'm finally... No, it doesn't. Oh, you probably could do that, but it's probably easier to just go up the left wall. Oh. No. Ooh. <laughs> I wish the wind gold berry was like a achievement. Honestly, like the wind berry giving. I understand, obviously, it's harder to get more berries, but like, it's weird how the wind berries and golden berries and everything are like, were just as much like standard red berry you can get in the game. There you go. I think that was it, and I might have missed something. Oof. Let's see. Actually, I can't even see because I've already got the gold flag up. I have no idea if I got everything, but sure. <laughs> okay. Well, all berries, including the golden berry. I might. One run though, so. Hmm. If it's not just a, no, that's a full clear, but with golden. Okay, I'll do a full. So, a full clear, but with the golden berry, so. I guess these are just all full clear runs. So maybe I'll try and keep like as many berries as possible or something. That's not really feel like a challenge run, like how many I do. I guess with the gold that's pretty awkward. So I've tried doing this way too many times. I should probably disable no grabs. Um There you go. That's really annoying actually because I have golden berry and now I can only get it. Okay, now I can restart. Okay, I'm definitely not going berry train. <laughs> I'll try to go berry train, but no. It's a lot harder now, because especially with wind berries, because if, if you fail, you just Berry train is literally Actually wait, my berry trains. I'm not really set. <laughs> I can't say berry trains don't matter if you have gold, but you do, because you can collect a berry, you collect a little bit. <laughs> I'll try to go for berry train, but like, berry train, but, oh, if you, if you d don't touch the ground, if you touch the ground for nine frames to collect berries, for like, any safe spot, just, like anything the game considers a safe spot, but, if you like, cut something jumpy or something, Whatever technically on the ground for nine frames, and you can get some pretty long trains if you do it right. Seriously, summit berry trains are absurd. It's like 40 odd berries in that chapter, so. So, springs are your friend, for sure, because they just automatically let you jump and just rest when you're trying to go for berry trains. Well, I stop the berry trade? I might go for a one up. If you get a one up actually, with the golden berry, it makes like a really weird sound, like a combination of sound you get from golden berries and the one up sound, and it's really weird and kind of cool. But... Oh.
shit, I'm like really paranoid that I'm gonna like hit myself with a spike or something. I pretty much can't do like hypers or anything as well. You can, you can do hypers, but it's like extended hypers are like literally impossible, you have to stay on the ground. So many frames will to pull them off that like... Oh. Honestly, at this point, if I fail, I'm just <laughs> gonna. S you know. There's no way I'm going for berry traits again. First attempt of going berry traits, but after that, it's just. You know. Everything. I'm going for a full clear this version. I suppose it's horrible to get better trades. Go light up. Hold on. Um, white, purple, blue. Oh wait, hold on. White, purple, blue, red, purple, yellow. Oof! This is hard. Like, like I said, the game is very forgiving, so even if you jump like a few seconds before you actually reach the ground, the game just like remembers that and lets you do a jump. Oof. <laughs> no. Oh. Even if I don't get the berry tree, I'm definitely gonna uh, stick with gold berry. One up sounds so that's really, really cool. Satisfying, isn't it? No. Oh. No! Okay. Well. Never mind, <laughs> I'm the better train. I'm going through berries still. I hope. You know what, I'm not going all berries. I've done all berries before. Off the camera, I think. I'm just showing off the berry. The weird golden berry one up sound. Because maybe I haven't get that. Why would you get it? I think if you ever have a gold, like, you can't back the pop puts it this room. I say as I back up. Yeah, it's like weird. Oh, I don't think people's gonna die here. It felt like it was gonna die. These sections are really precise. I should make tight corridors and things. There's like spikes everywhere. When it's like a tight corridor, it's fine, you just spam jump, but like when you've actually got to do platforming and there's a tight corridor, like in the middle of the platforming, that is absolutely horrible. I'm surprised I got that actually. Okay. Goldenberry one up. I think about it, this might actually be easier since there's no spikes anywhere, so. Oh, I need to get a better. Oh, I need to get two berries for that. I need six berries to get a one-up. Just absolutely nothing, but... It's fun. Getting one-ups, I suppose. Oh, that was really close.
Yeah, only pretty much only solid ground actually counts as like safe. Like the uh, traffic light blocks and things like that technically are safe ground. So you can stand in them as much as you want, obviously without killing yourself. Hmm. This is actually really quite hard to either way I go. It's pretty bad. We go straight up the left wall. I'm probably going to do that since I doubt I'm going to die. I get crushed by that. Oh, I was so close to it. No, I just don't trust myself at all. Oh. There we go. Like that. It's a mixture of the golden berry and the one up sound. Oh. Well, what else can I do? Might not do chapter one challenges necessarily. Hmm. I guess I could try like. I'm not gonna go for like all the variants or anything. Probably gonna go just do what seems good. Um. I'm gonna go B side all berries. <laughs> I don't know. I think. Hmm. I guess I could like. Yeah, I think. I'm not gonna do the same challenges for like every level either. It's actually an interesting thing the uh intro oh is it prologue? I can't swear it was intro because at least I could have used to used to call it prologue but it turned out it was intro. But okay, anyway, prologue. There's a pro that appears on one screen. There's actually a load of weird stuff you can do here. Got intro car here, obviously. You can actually activate cheat code by typing in a certain code. Cheat mode, sorry. I'm not actually quite sure what it is though, so. Anyway, there's like loads of secrets here. You can't appear for this area. So, the actual challenge I'm thinking of doing at the moment is this. It's a bird there. Usually, when you come near, it flies away. But it's possible to get it to not fly away. If you do everything right. Basically, if you land on it in the ground that's higher than the ground the crow's sitting on, or at the same height, that's then the crow will fly away. But it's possible. So there, it flew away. But it's possible to get it to not fly away. Like this. There, if you just jump over it regularly, it doesn't. But if you like jump up, you get like a weird boost there. And then obviously you can't land on this ground. Obviously this is lower than the ground the bird's on, so it's fine. But then, yeah. So even if you land here, it just flies away. <laughs> but, yeah. Like, I don't know if you go into the uh, epilogue, you can get like a weird thing where you fly over the... <laughs> um, house. I wonder if you could do something similar here. Okay. I guess not. But you can do weird stuff in the epilogue with super dashing. But I want to do one more challenge. But maybe no traffic light blocks. On what? Oh, there we go. Okay, no traffic light blocks on Forsaken City. And it's only introduced part of the way through the level. Oh my god! I've got to enable that. Anyway. I mean, you only get traffic light blocks part way through the level. By which I mean, like, the third screen now, I think. So. But. I want to do some dashes and weird stuff. I guess not then. Wee. Uh, really not, it's the one after this, I keep thinking it's like this block has a traffic light block here. I'm using I was gonna put a definition. It looks like without touching any traffic light blocks since 
you know, it could say, like, what if I don't actually use it? Obviously, I died there, so it doesn't really matter what I use it. Basically, if I. That's the easy way to have to kill myself. I'm not going to be modified, but I can use it. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to have any berries here, because some areas pretty much require traffic like a lot. Yeah. First ones should be pretty easy, but later ones are not pretty easy. I can't really say that. <laughs> Is that, that one thing with the drabless issue might still be an issue here. Or you just do a trick when you come up here. No. Anyway. That one that I really struggled with the drabless might also be an issue here now that I think about it. Because I have to avoid the traffic light up entirely. Oh, this is going to be hard as well. Hmm. This is definitely going to be a challenge. Um, this doesn't seem possible. There's no way this is possible, but... Yeah... Hmm... I could do it without activating the blocks, I suppose. Couldn't just do this then? I swear it's like possible to like, try to jump and block that activating them. But... Hmm... It could be like, it could be down there, but... Okay. I guess we could say without activating them for this room. But that's definitely a fail. It's definitely pretty much almost it's almost certainly impossible to do that here. Even then it's really hard to do it without activate. I think maybe do it without activate. Maybe not actually. Actually maybe it grabs like a really glitch, a lot glitch it. Everything's intended, but like I think. I just think that I could probably get like, a corner jump or something off of the left traffic light block. Like a dash, to jump around to the right side of that block, jump to the left side of the right block, and then dash like around something. I should have done. Where would I go? Yeah, I think this is definitely a fail. This is almost. I'll try like only activating one of them, I suppose. Then, if I have to, because I see no way around this. Yeah. <laughs> no. What on earth? Just spam and dash and jump and actually do it. Dash cancel. Okay. Well, that's one traffic light block used. This is going to be a nightmare, though. I guess I could technically... It's something I want to test. I'm, obviously, this isn't going to count, but, like... If it's possible to make it... From that block where I just died to... To the right wall, I... I should have done it probably isn't possible. Like, the only thing I can think of there is you were able to do that. But like I say, even that doesn't feel... You go, know, where do I go from here? Yeah, you can't even do that, so... There's some other way I could do it. Um, hmm. Okay. Ah. Oh. I guess we could talk. I could do it without activating it, I suppose. But without touching it. But I could obviously wave dash, right? But where do I go? Actually, maybe this is possible. There are always ways that I thought, okay. Actually, I think I probably like scraped it or something. Really good. Definitely not touching it. Because if I touched it, I would have bought There you go. Way easier than I expected. But yeah. This is pretty easy now. Actually, the very last room might be a challenge as well. 
even if you do go up the left one, you still need to activate the left, or at least touch the left one. Have a quite lot. But we'll see. Why on earth? I guess I could do one up first. It was like, like genuinely harder to use that block for like, even if you are going if you are going to like have it like blockless. Okay, this room's gonna be a nightmare. We can do it without. Um, actually yeah, there's quite much better one. We can do this without do this without grabbing. So I guess I'll just go up the left wall and the block, but it's still not great. This was this turned out way worse than I expected. But yeah. You can do this for sure, but there we go, like what like that, like one and a half or something. But But bye. I guess. Okay. Well. That was that. <laughs>